How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping, been to Tesco. Come and have a look what I've got. I was having a little walk around at Tesco as you do, and I came across this and I noticed it was new. Slow cooked lamb hot pot, classic and tender. Expertly slow cooked for hours for tenderness and flavour. Oven cook 40 minutes serves one. Little traffic light system there for the nutrition. I noticed it's suitable for freezing. And there is the lovely serving suggestion. This was in the fridge, it's not frozen. It was three pounds and 50 pence. So let's take a look at the box. So it's two degrees out there and it's, uh, this is the, I can see this is the, the perfect meal, isn't it? I mean, you can always stick your own, make your own, stick your own, <laughs> stick them up. You can always do your own, put it in a slow cooker, couldn't you, if you've got one? Yeah, definitely. Anyway, it's, oh, it says contains alcohol. Don't worry, I wouldn't worry about that. It'll all burn off, as they say. So let's go around the back. So there is some more nutritional information there. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Got some spiel at the top. Slow cooked diced lamb shoulder. Sliced potatoes, carrots and onions in a red wine gravy. They are the ingredients. The allergen is barley. So it's lamb, 43%. You've got a red wine in there. Malt, red wine, malt vinegar. Yeah, allergy advice. Um, for allergens including cereals containing gluten, see ingredients in bold, which we have done, haven't we? So there's two methods of, of cooking here. You can do it in the oven and it says for best results, oven cook. It's up to you. Or you can do it in the microwave. It's a ping meal. It's um, however you want to do it. It's 300 grams. That would be nice if it's 400. It's, it's getting less in it, the grammage. Red tractor certified lamb. I suppose lamb is quite expensive, isn't it? Made using British lamb, and with it being British lamb, yeah, it's probably going to be expensive. But it'd still be nice if it was 400 grams. Anyway, I've had my little gripe. Let's get this open and see what we have got. So, do we have a tab system? Um, uh, I'm not quite sure, really. No, we've got, just, got, just got my finger, so... Let's see if we can get in. Look at that. Dear me, there's no tab system there, is there? I don't know what that is there. I don't know what that's supposed to be doing. <laughs> uh, that was hard work. Wowzers. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh man, that is ridiculous. Look at that. God. £3.50 for that. That ain't a lot, is there? <sighs> wow. So we need scissors to get into that because what it says on the back, I did have a quick sneaky peek. You've got to transfer the contents of the pouch into an oven proof dish and layer the sliced potatoes on top of, of hot pot to ensure crisp texture. Place dish in centre of a preheated oven. I'm going to do it in the oven. I mean, yeah, you definitely need all the um, little, you know, extras. That's for sure. Oh, that is nothing in there, right? Let's let's get it open and see what we really have got. I mean, is it me or is everything shrinking? <laughs> it's got to be, hasn't it? Let's get this out. I think I need some new scissors. Yeah, I do. So that goes in there. Got a long date on it as well. It's good, good for the 9th of um, February. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what it says now is, is spread the sort of the potatoes out on top. So you're going to have to get your hands in if you want to do that. So. God, it's a disaster, isn't it? It's an absolute disaster. It really is from the start. Look, you get a few carrots. Three and a half quid. You get a few carrots. 
there's your potatoes, there's your, your, your lamb, all sort of stuck together. You can't spread this around, it's just all going to fall apart. You're just going to have to do it like that. That's your lamb, basically. There's your, there's your lamb, just that block there. God, straight. Make your own, straight away. That's, and I haven't even tasted it. There's the onion. So, I'm not happy with this at all. It's not going in the oven. I'm not wasting 40 minutes cooking that. I'm going to ping it in the microwave. And I've done it wrong for the microwave because you're supposed to pierce the pouch and put the pouch in a, in a microwavable dish. So we'll just have to uh, stick a bit of cling film over the top. And we'll go from there. So I've had to get the old grey matter working and do a bit of a rethink here. So it's going to go in this Pyrex dish. Like that. And I've got, I've got a lid for it, so the lid's going to go on. So I've got a lid. Now it, it, it says to go in the microwave for seven and a half minutes. Now that seems a long time, so I'll put it in for five and we'll have a look at it. We've had five minutes. I'm just going to... It does smell good. You're paying for the, the, the lamb, aren't you? That's what you're paying for, but they could have... It's like a... a a joint of lamb. I mean, they could have bulked it out with more vegetables. At least, you know, they could have done that. But is that just me? I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it in now. I'm gonna do it and give it another minute. I'm just looking on the back, and there is a little warning. Well, it's not so much a warning. It says important, not suitable for cooking from frozen. I'm gonna weigh the meat content. I want to see how much lamb we're getting. So I've put, I've put that on there, you can see. A lovely gift these uh, scales were sent to me. And I'm going to measure how much lamb we've got. This might sound weird, but... And there's gravy on this as well, but the gravy ain't going to be a lot. What I should have done, I should have weighed it when the, the lamb was sort of in one chunk. Um, so pretty much that's pretty much the lamb. So it's 300 grams. I pretty much got most of it out, look. There's only little bits of bobs in there. So, ignore the splatter. <laughs> we get 93 grams of lamb. 93. 94 grams of lamb. That's what we're paying for. 93. Any advances on 93. Yeah, maybe 94 <laughs> with the little bits and bobs that are left in the, in the bottom of there. Put that to one side, give it a, give it a wesh later. Um, so yeah, that's what you get. You've seen the lamb, I mean the lamb doesn't look... It's, it, I mean, yeah, it's quite light. It's smelling good, there's your potatoes. Now your potatoes are all going to be soggy now. They really are. They've been nuked. <laughs> and your carrot. I mean, you could eat it out of that dish, I suppose, to save on the old washing up. Um, you definitely could do with some greens there as well. That's, you know, to bulk it out. But when, you, when it comes in a block like that, it doesn't look a lot of lamb. But when you sort of cut it down a bit, it's, it's not looking as bad. There's your lamb. Yeah, that's nice lamb. Nice lamb. I'm going to get in with a bit of potato now and a bit of carrot. The, the gravy's quite sweet. not too bad. I was looking for some fatty bits of lamb. Um, can't seem to see any. I will have a look. The potato's soft. I mean, it's just gone to mush. I've done it in the microwave. I, you know, you do it in the oven. You, you, can't, you couldn't layer that properly though. You'd have to get your hands in there. You'd get absolutely, everything would fall apart.
Needs a bit of um, pepper for me, but that's just me. I do like my pepper. It's well seasoned, other than that. It's quite sweet, the gravy. I mean, the carrots have just gone gone to, 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 to mush, soft. I did it for six, six and a half minutes in the microwave. It says seven and a half, so I did it for a minute less. But I did it in that Pyrex dish as well, so it would have, it's, it's really got the town on it like. But it, it will get eaten, don't worry. There's another, let's have a look, see if there's any stringy bits of um, fat in the lamb. I mean, lamb is fatty, isn't it? I love lamb. No, that's not too bad. You could do with a bit of mint sauce, a little bit of mint sauce just to, just to put in there, but you need to need some more vegetables, obviously. There's not many carrots, not many potatoes in there. It's £3.50 and it's 300 grams and you get 94 grams of lamb. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Be very interested to find out. Marks out of 10. I'd probably give it a... Probably give it a six. Six out of ten. Yeah. I'm quite generous. We want more. We want 400 grams though. 400 grams we want. As a minimum base. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I've had a little bit of a rant. But it, that's life. We're unhuman. We're allowed it. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Take care. Spitting, spitting out everywhere, are you? I'm glad there's no one else around me. And I'll get back to you on the next one.